Hey everybody, this is um, my second layout using my scrap stash kit for January. It's called Starlet. Um, if you haven't heard of the scrap stash kit, I'm going to provide a link in the description of the video so you can go check them out. But basically you get um, free inspiration once a month and you take that inspiration and make your own homemade kit with the supplies that you already have. So it's been a lot of fun and I'm going to be using it hopefully every month this year so I can really work through my stash. So I am going to do a page about me and my husband, and uh, this is going to be for our 12th anniversary that we just celebrated this past December. So I'm kind of pulling out a few things that I think I want to use. I'm kind of just going through everything that I have pulled for the kit. And I had a few things set aside already that I knew I wanted to use, which was that, um, that piece of paper there that says happiness is you and me. And that is from a Mambi... Um, paper pad, uh, me and my big ideas. And I got that at Hobby Lobby not too long ago. Um, and it had a big white border on the outside, so I cut that off so I can make that kind of the center. And I'm gonna back it with this pink paper that has kind of uh, distressed gold polka dots on it. Um, so that's going to uh, be kind of the border background there. And that is from Basic Gray, that pink paper. So I'm taking my stays on and I'm kind of, I'm just um, adding ink along the edges because when I put the brown on top of the pink, it kind of blended in a little bit too much, so I needed it to stand out a little bit more. So uh, I think that looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this down onto the paper. And I have that large picture of us. And I'm going to cut, I had a really big border around it, and I'm, I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. <laughs> was a little bit too big so I cut it down I think that looks better um, I definitely wanted to use that paper because you know it says happiness is you and me and you know we are very happy um, and I have this 12 that I had set out from a Heidi swap um, alphabet pack and I you know wanted to use those on here to represent our 12 years that we've been married so I'm using this paper here I don't know who that's by um, it's just something I had in my stash. And it had um, already a pre-punched uh, paper, looks like, you know, notebook paper on the side. So uh, I'm gonna keep that there and use that to map my photo. And I'm just pulling out some pink and some stuff that I think I'm gonna use for layering. Um, I don't have manufacturers for any of these guys, sorry. <laughs> they are all literally just scraps from my scrap, my scrap box that I have, so. Um, I don't have any manufacturers for any of them. The pink chevron is probably Amy Tangerine. That would be my guess for that one, but everything else I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with those papers, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, think about layering them where I want them to go. And normally, you know, that kind of floral thing that I have there, it's a pretty big strip and I'm only only a little bit's going to be showing. Normally I would try to, you know, cut that down maybe, but I was, I'm to a point now in my stash where I'm like, I just need to use it and not worry about, you know, saving anything and using it again and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kind of to that point now where I just want to get through my stash and, you know, not hang on to things for so long. So I'm, I'm good with the way that I'm going to layer it and, you know, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stuck down there. I like the way that looks. And I have this pink glitter paper. I'm going to cut a little banner at the end. Um, that is from American Crafts. That is uh, one of their POW glitter papers. I love that paper. And I'm going to put the 12 right directly on the picture, uh, just kind of in some space here. My husband's um, coat was dark, so it stands out nicely there. And then I have this paper clip that says love. That's from Freckled Fawn. I think that's the last one I have um, of those. And I'm going to take this hexagon vellum and I'm using my Martha Stewart heart punch to punch out quite a few hearts. I'm going to do little heart clusters all along the page. And I'm doing them along some of these uh, circles that are on that pattern paper there. And I need them to stand out more because <laughs> you can't really see them. So I'm using my stays on again and I'm just going to um, ink 
all along the edges of the vellum. It still doesn't like stand out hugely, but in person you can see it a lot better than you can on the camera. Um, but I do like the way it turned out. And let's see what else do I do. That was a, um, a good date night for us. We, that was our first date night in probably at least six months because we had moved and I didn't really know anybody, <laughs> you know. I didn't feel comfortable asking anyone to watch my girls, you know, for us to go on a date. And he was gone for a lot of the time as well. You know, he only just got back in October for good. So um, with his training and everything, so... Um, that was the first time we were able to go out by ourselves and we needed it, let me tell you. <laughs> we had a good time. We went to a good Italian restaurant for dinner and then they didn't have any really good desserts there. So, uh, we ended up going to Applebee's and getting a drink and some desserts and it was fun. So I'm trying to get that paper clip to lay down a little flatter. <laughs> they tend to get bent up. Um, but I got it as good as I could. So I have this um, package of Amy Tangerine um, layered vellum hearts. So they're vellum, they have two hearts on each one, and then they're stitched along the center, and I really like them. So um, I'm going to staple, oh, I have some drama here. Uh, my tiny tattoo kept jamming up, and the staples weren't coming out right. Um, I just, I have issues. I wonder if, yeah see <laughs> it's getting caught up and all that stuff so I hope there's not too much of that in this video I think I I think I deal with it in my next layout too but I'm having I'm just having some issues um but I'm stapling the vellum or uh yeah the vellum hearts down that I have there right now and then I'm going to add in those Amy Tangerine hearts as well I'm going to add those alongside them so each each one is going to have two hearts on it and I really like the way it turned out. And I used up that whole package of those Amy Tangerine hearts, so that's pretty awesome. I'm in so many issues. <laughs> I might end up giving that to my husband here soon, because he's in the room with me while I'm scrubbing, and I was like, fix this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think, I don't know. It's either this one or the next one, um, where I have some more issues too. I'm not sure which one it is, but... It might be the next one, so I don't think I bring it out again for this layout. But um, so I'm going to take some washi tape. I'm going to back this uh, paper clip there just to keep it in place, and then I'm going to add some to the back here to cover up my staples so they don't uh, tear up my page protectors when I put the page into my album. Um, so now I'm kind of looking through my stuff to see what else I want to put on here. Um, this is from an Amy Tangerine uh, sticker sheet, and it has a little man and a woman. So I'm going to put that over that layered vellum heart there. And I like the way that looks. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else on there I want to use. Um, I do grab a blue camera and a blue heart, a lighter blue heart, and I stick that in the middle of the camera there. And that helps bring out some of the blue. I have um, at least one heart there that one of the layered hearts that's blue. So, um, This is from a My Mind's Eye chipboard sticker sheet that's really old. <laughs> um, and that's from a Valentine's line, I think. But it says Happy Day on it. It's a little swirly banner, so I'm going to use that there. I'm trying to see what else I want to use, if anything. Um... I lose that little ampersand there, and that's from a basic gray sticker sheet. I think I use a tab from that sticker sheet as well to add the date on there. I just don't, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to use this little banner, and it says happy, happy on it. And I'm going to use these thickers. These are called um, Bliss, and they're a nice light pink color. And I'm going to put 
years. I think I do YRS or YR. I don't think I have an S actually. Like 12, yeah, 12 YR, so 12 year. And on this one, I don't do any journaling, guys. I don't really feel like it needs journaling. You know, it was our 12 year anniversary. Um, I'll have the date on there, so. I didn't really feel like I needed um, a whole lot of journaling, you know, for this one. Kind of self-explanatory. So I'm gonna use this label, and I'm gonna cut it in half because I'm only gonna, you know, I only wanna use one part of it. I'm not gonna overlap anything, so I'm just gonna stick that down there, and then I'm gonna um, write the date, which was December 28th, 2014. That was our 12 year anniversary date. And then these two little chipboard pieces that I got from the My Mind's Eye chipboard sheet says love you. So I put those next to them right there. And what else do I use? Oh, I'm using up the rest of this vellum. I'm just going to add a little strip up above the picture here. So that uses that up. So I can toss the rest of it now. And let's see, what else do I add? Do I add anything else? What am I doing here? Oh, <laughs> American Girl doll shoes. They came off and Layla had, was trying to put them back on for Kaylin and she could not figure it out, so she gave it to me. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to add some mist, yes. So I have some Plum Thumb mist here. That's from Mr. Huey's, and I'm trying to mist on a lot of my layouts. I have my mist sitting directly in front of me on my desk now, so I can pull that out and use that a little bit more on some of my layouts. And I got some on my desk because I was too lazy to get up and get my box. So <laughs> that happens, right? I didn't want to add too much because I have a lot going on with the hearts, but I like the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to learn more about the Scrap Stash Kit Club, go ahead and click the link in the description of the video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.